Welcome again, Sagittarius. It's July 2024. Didichi here from astrology.com.au and I'm looking at your horoscope. It's a Western chart. It's for Sagittarius sun sign. If you know your rising sign or your lunar sign as being Sagittarius, this may also apply to you. And to kick off, I want to say I'm going to focus predominantly on this part of your horoscope this month. We've already talked a little bit about this, but why I'm doubling up on it is because of the retrograde nature of this planet. Also on the second, we see the stationary, then retrograde Neptune, also in this fourth sector, Pisces, very, very important, relating to your home and family, your heritage, your basic roots, this could be about looking into your roots or putting your roots down uh, because now it seems as if uh, family and home and stability in terms of a domestic environment are uppermost in your mind. There's a new moon on the 6th. There it is forming a beautiful aspect to uh, this very point that I'm making about the retrograde Saturn beginning a new cycle with that new moon with the retrograde reflective reappraisal with Saturn at the core. Now, it brings increased responsibilities. So you're obviously questioning your role in the family. Possibly you're going to be separated from the family or family members, or there's been some estrangement there. This gives you the opportunity to review that see why that's happened, how you can improve it. And most importantly, the bottom line is that this fourth house is about your inner peace, the sanctuary of your own heart. And, you know, whatever's going on on the peripheral of your domestic life, the end result should be peace of mind, contentment and harmony in the home. You want emotional stability. Um, these transits are encouraging you to look at those things in the domestic sphere that may have been eroding that. What is it that you can do to reinstate that emotional security, that satisfaction? Um, so this transit does emphasize that need. Um, often that requires a lot of communication uh, unfortunately, even if you're open to communication, uh, other members of the family may not be. That is when the frustration sets in and you don't feel you belong. You feel somewhat like an outsider. Now, this may not be your historic or genetic family. This may relate to the people that you're living with. This is like an adopted family circumstance. How's that working for you? roommates that don't give you the privacy that, or the respect that you want, uh, roommates that aren't pulling their weight, not being responsible enough, that's also the domain of Saturn. Um, you want to create a deeper connection with your community or find people that are going to help strengthen that um, and that in turn develops strong friendships and uh, emotional bonds. Whoops. There's a full moon on the 21st, um, speaking about communication, that full moon is going to make contact with transformative Pluto in your third house of communications. So it seems like that is the point at which um, you're going to be able to, you know, open up the lines of communication if, if they've been closed in the past. So you've got some interesting things happening here. All of this is a pathway to your inner healing. That's instrumental in that happening. You need to go through all these processes, these frustrations, even the resistance that's going on. Notice the 25th, 26th, the energy of the moon is triggering these two points again. So these are, I'm just punctuating the timeline throughout the month when you might 
have to deal with these particular issues. And so just in conclusion, it's a time for building a solid emotional foundation, strengthening your family ties, even if that's going to be difficult because they're not immediately receptive, you just have to endure, persevere. Uh, you need to create a, a really secure home environment, but most importantly, you need to find that peace within yourself. Now, sometimes that simply means sacrificing a whole lot of other shit so you can have that peace of mind. It depends on where your value system is, what it is you value more, whether you just want to hold uh, an institutional structure in place or you're serious uh, and spiritually committed to finding that space within yourself that is one of contentment and fulfillment. I'm getting attacked here by bugs. Take a look at the uh, links there, folks, because uh, that will give you more on what's happening this month. We've got all the other daily, weekly, yearly readings for you, uh, available there for you as well. If you'd like to put all of this in perspective, it's all in writing. Uh, please do subscribe, like our channel, share it. Drop me a note if you want. I'm always here to um, share ideas. If you're stuck on any technical points, by all means, let us hear it. And I'll be here next month, same time. Same station, waiting for you. Hope you'll join us. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.